Never go to a city or a community and, and say, man, I went to the best Olive Garden that I've ever been to. But you'll go and you'll go to the unique restaurants. Original Grain is a new local business in downtown Syracuse. These small businesses each have their own sort of idiosyncrasies, if you will, that make them different from every place else. Chris Bailey owns the business. He says that local stores and restaurants are important to keep Syracuse's identity. I think that's what sets it apart. And customers agree. More of a variety, like cute little shops and stores rather than just like a Burger King or a McDonald's. I just got my coffee and not one, but two cups. One of them I got them from a local business, Freedom of Espresso, right behind me. And this one, I got them from Starbucks, right next to me. They are the same thing, same coffee and pretty much the same price. This is a decision that many buyers have to face every day here in Syracuse. Do they go local or they go for a chain? For Don Dutkowski, economics professor at Maxwell School, the difference between a local business and a national chain is what they do with the profits. For a local business to stay here in Syracuse, for a national business such as Walmart, they go to the corporate center. They may use it to uh, invest in a Walmart somewhere in California even though the profits came from Syracuse. According to Syracuse First, for every dollar spent in a local business, 0.73 cents stays in the area versus the 0.43 cents when spent in a mass retailer. This money can be reinvested in the business, local charities or local vendors. These local businesses are using other local services, so whether it's uh, advertisers or attorneys or, or accountants,